Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. And as you can see, I've already unboxed it. I know I'm a little bit late with this, but I wanted to actually get a feel for the products so I can give my honest opinion. Plus, I'm not really a fan of first impressions. So I wanted to kind of really be able to give you my spew on each one. Um, today, well, if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, by the way, it is a monthly subscription. You pay $21 a month to get four to five full products, um, full size products, or either it'll be a deluxe size, but it's really rare when we get a deluxe size product. Um, actually in this box we got one though. <laughs> As I say, it's rare, but um, the theme for the month is getaway and they gave us this cute little card and on the card, if you don't know, um, they'll give a list of the products, what each product is supposed to do and the price. So the first thing we're gonna be doing, I've already um, put foundation on, I've already put my primer on, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and talk about the primer that was given in this box, just because I won't be using it. And this is why. Uh, last time we got the No Pore Blum Primer, it was the uh, one that's more like silicone based, and it's moisturizing, it's nice, however it broke me out. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos, but this one is no different. It broke me out. I actually have um, some bumps here and here and here and here and I did test it out for a couple times without foundation just to see if it actually did what it said it was going to do. It's supposed to tighten your pores and it does do that to an extent. Not a whole lot. It's not a major difference. Actually between the two I think I prefer the other one but um, as nice as this is and as pretty as it looks and the packaging is really nice. Um, if you haven't seen what it looks like, let me show you. It's like this kind of situation and it's very liquidy, almost watery in consistency. It's like kind of like, you know, very, very liquidy, very water-based. And it just, you rub it in. Hopefully this doesn't break my hand out. I don't know what it is that they put in their products, but it doesn't agree with my skin. So I wasn't able to use that primer. So today I just used my Elf Beauty Shield Primer. It's one of my favorites right now because it has such a high SPF and with it being summer and all, it's just kind of needed. But yeah, it goes on really watery. It feels really cold, but it, it didn't really do anything for me. Another product that I will not be trying out in this video um, was something that I got. It is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic Bronzing Mousse. It's $24. Oh, by the way, the primer, um, of course, is by Touch and Soul, the No Problem, or Problem Primer, excuse me, Essence, is $23. Um, so yeah, this stuff, uh, it came with these little, these little mitts here um, to put it on. I did try some on my arm for my sister. I'm going to be giving this to her, which is another reason why I won't be using it. It did look really natural. Um, I don't think the application would have been difficult. It's just that I don't really wear self-tanners, and yeah, um, if you did get this, you know, let me know what you think about it. I'm gonna let my sister have this. This is the deluxe size sample. So this is what the idea of that will be, obviously. I think this is their travel size. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. All right, now to get to the stuff that I will be trying on. So I got the Tarte BU Naturally eyeshadow palette for $36. It looks like this. Now a lot of people were complaining about this particular palette because apparently we got one very similar, but the one I got was not similar to this one that much. I think this was the one, well, the one that was similar to this one was the one that came with like the pinky, like glittery kind of packaging. But even still, I don't think they're the exact same. This is what the packaging looks like, really pretty and, um, oops. I've dropped the little clear, whatever, I'll get it later. But looks like this kind of situation on the inside, very pretty. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of create a quick look with this. Um, I think I wanna go on the pinker side of things just because I've seen a lot of people do looks with this and I always like to kind of pull maybe a different look with it. So I'm gonna first go in with, let me see, it'll be on this side, the color Explore. It's this little color right here. Um, on the other side of this rich goldish color. I'm gonna put that in my crease. So, I've gotten, and I forgot to mention, this eyeshadow palette smells like chocolate. And right now I'm fasting, and I can't have chocolate, so that's not fun. And it's almost that time of the month, so that's not fun i really like this color thus far and i did try this palette i just didn't try it with a makeup brush i was just kind of like poking around and kind of swatching it um so i have no idea how it performs with 
uh, eyeshadow brushes. But so far, I really, really like it. It's super buttery, and I feel like the color comes across exactly as how it looks in the pan. So, so far, I'm not naturally, and naturally. So far, I'm not uh, upset. I'm very impressed. Uh, today's look is gonna be very, very natural, um, by the way, because this palette looks like it really doesn't pull anything intense. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm looking for the makeup brush I wanna use next. I think I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. I needed to clean my brushes off. I've been working on my blue look. I know I said this week that I would be filming my blue look, but because my BoxyCharm came, I wanted to test those products out, kinda of get a vibe for them and give you my opinion. And like I was gonna say, with this eyeshadow palette, I don't feel like it's bad. I think the quality is definitely really nice. Um, I'm gonna take the pink color here. This is called uh, Glacier. Yeah, because that color is called Daybreak. So Glacier, which is this pinky color here. This color is actually really different. Um, I'm going to put this on the, the lid here, kind of all over the lid. It's kind of powdery. I'm trying to decide how I feel about this particular color. Because I applied it with my fingers once. And... Wow. When I apply it with my finger, it came off as a kind of a different color to me. But now that I'm doing it, I don't know. I don't know that I like this color. And I say this not because it's a bad pink or anything, but because I don't feel like it's performing the way I would want it to. It's almost so soft that it dusts off of your eye, if that makes sense. Like it's not adhering to my eye in any way I don't know if you guys can I mean you can barely even see it it's like it's just really okay I mean it's not terrible I can kind of see it now that I'm looking at this mirror over here it's not bad I guess it's just not it's not the way it looks in the pan I don't know but yeah I feel like I'm most excited about next month's box because I saw the eyeshadow palette and I'm really excited to use it. This one, I was hoping for that face palette, but I feel like this is still not a bad eyeshadow palette to have because this to me would be a good traveling eyeshadow palette because it's small, it's got your basic neutrals in here where you can get away with a lot of different looks for a lot of different outfits. Um, it smells amazing. I mean, it is really getting to me at this point. All right, I think I'm going to go back in with that color um, Explore here back in the crease because the pink kind of dusted it away just ever so slightly. Um, I'm really a fan of this color Explore. I really like it in the crease. It's nice and warm. So, so far we have kind of very soft very very soft natural look going on i think i'm going to take this color next to glacier it's called crystallized it's like a, a mauvey kind of pinkish bronzyish well not bronzy situation it's it looks really rich i think i'm gonna take it over the top here just ever so slightly in the inner corner and stop i mean this isn't really a tutorial i'm just trying out the eyeshadows to see and kind of let you guys know and I think now that I've done two makeup videos on my channel, I've realized something about myself. I like doing eyeshadow with my fingers, apparently, because I'm always using them, but they really are your best tools. I mean, at the end of the day, they get the job done. Yeah, I like that over the top of that pink. It does bring it out. And now I'm going to warm up the corner of my eye, then I'm going to move to the rest of my face, probably off camera. Well, I'll do it on camera. It's okay. And then I'll show you guys the other products, the other two products that I have. So I'm gonna go in the corner with Daybreak because it's the next, it's the only um, other dark shade that I can use right now to kind of darken up the uh, crease here. It 
smells like really cocoa-y. Like really cocoa chocolate, but I like it. I feel like it really does pull in the look a little bit more. I have my little camera here so I can monitor my nugget. She's asleep. Film during naps, that's the way to go, right? So, with BoxyCharm this month, I'm a little disappointed. I do like to test out the products, but not for like this long. I got my box the week of the 17th, um, and I know that they have t five to 10 business days to ship and you know, all that stuff, but, whew, I mean like the wait. Normally I get my box on like the 7th, because the state I live in is right next to theirs. They're based in Florida and um, Yeah, they're based right next to me. So I'm like, how the heck am I getting my box at the end of the month? Because I like to actually try the products before, you know, I actually say anything about them. And now that I'll be doing BoxyCharm unboxings monthly, it would be nice to get it a little bit more in advance because, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with um, Explore again to kind of buff out any harsh edges here. But yeah, I was not really happy about that. And I know that this month they had the whole, um, I'm gonna go back in with Crystal Eyes, but they had the whole um, Boxy Lux situation, which that part of Boxy Charm I haven't joined on to yet. I don't know that I will. I haven't seen a Boxy Lux that really like made me really, really want it. So I'm just gonna take a brush that doesn't have much on and fluff out the edges but yeah they didn't have anything that I really like you pay an extra $28.99 for that particular kind of box so that's what I have so far from this palette not too shabby I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the face I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm using because those things are not in the boxy charm this month so I'm just gonna keep it pushing but yeah um, I haven't seen anything that I like all right, so the eyes are pretty much complete, very neutral brown. I think I will go on the bottom lash line with that color though. Um, what is it, Explore and a little bit of Daybreak. That's the thing about doing makeup is you make last minute decisions. I've already put on my mascara and everything, but I'll fix it. Yeah, I like that better. I like it better. I do like this eyeshadow palette. I think overall, like, would I go and spend $36 on this? No. I have other eyeshadow palettes that do the exact same thing or have some colors that are very similar to this, if not almost the exact same. And I just can't see myself spending almost 40 bucks on this with these natural neutral colors, but on the same token, uh, if this is the only eyeshadow palette you own, or if the only one is the only one that you buy and you know you would use these colors a lot, I recommend it because it is an everyday eyeshadow palette. It's one of those that translates over to the workplace very well. I mean, you could take away maybe some of the Daybreak color and the uh, Explorer color and go even more neutral than this. And I think you could achieve a work look with this. I'm gonna go in with the color Dusk, which is this really shimmery, like silvery color over here. It's very flaky buttery. And I'm just gonna take it in my inner corner. I like my Grande, uh, Grando, what is it, Grande? Uh, no, what is it? I can't remember the eyeshadow palette. I'll put it up as I'm talking about it. Um, I like the color Jasmine in that from my inner corner and I, sh well, I shouldn't have because I'm testing out under, but I would have used that in my inner corner for this. But um, I guess I'll put some on my brow bone and then we'll be done, you guys, on the eyeshadow. I'm using the color Earthy to kind of highlight my brow bone here and kind of blend the shades together. It's just a very like cream matte color. Very nice. It's not chalky and it's really buttery. It's blending very smoothly. I like it. I'm not mad at it. 
All right, we can move on to the lips. So I got, what is this? The uh, Dirty Little Secret Lip Liner. It's $15. It's supposed to be smooth and creamy. Um, and it's supposed to create a perfect pout. Let's see how it does with my big lips. So I've already tested this out. I've seen other people test this out and I'm just gonna give you guys a really quick tip. If, you're, if you didn't grow up in the 90s or you didn't see a lot of 90s makeup being done or you have no clue how to use a pencil lip liner, warm it up first before you put it on your lips. Everyone says, I hate pencil lip liners. I don't know why they give them to us. It's so rough, but you have to warm it up first so that the wax can kind of melt down and then you'll get the color on your lips without any issues. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. I'm not gonna fill it in because this is a very pink color. Now, the color, not my cup of tea, but the formula's fine. Uh, I've seen a lot of girls on YouTube putting this on and I'm like, you guys are my age, right? You should know how to put on pencil lip liner. It's not dry. You just gotta warm it up. And then blend it out a little bit. Yeah, I haven't had any issues with this. I feel like it's creamy like it says it's supposed to be. Um, I don't like the color, <laughs> but the formula, like I said, it's fine. I don't have any issues with it. The next thing we got was by Dominique Cosmetics. It is her Lemonade Lip Gloss. It's $17. Um, probably one of my favorite products out of the box. I actually, to do this review, I had to go in my purse and get it out because I already put it in my purse. It looks like this, box looks like this. Super fantastic. I got the um, peach tea one. I don't. I don't get peach tea when I smell this, and quite frankly, I it just smells like cake. You know, like how lip glosses from like the early 2000s all kind of smell like cake. Like this doesn't really, uh, this doesn't really smell like peach tea. And I'm from the South, so I know what tea smells like. And for it to be a lemonade lip gloss, I think I went in, because a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I went in thinking it was going to smell like lemonade. So I was expecting a lemony kind of situation. But with all that being said, this is bombastic gloss. It's super comfortable. Makes your lips feel juicy. It makes the lip look pouty. I love, love, love this. I'm putting it back in my purse. I think it pairs well with this. Um, this lip liner so I'm actually not mad that I got this I don't like the color on its own but with this I do enjoy it a lot and this is the look I mean I think this box was really natural very pinky uh, would I wear this at a getaway or for a getaway sure I mean it doesn't really I don't know what do you guys think it doesn't really look crazy. It looks like something that you could really rock anywhere. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild uh, Cucumber Setting Spray because I've done this makeup. makeup. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it all day. If you haven't gotten any of this cucumber spray, that's all I'm gonna say. You need to go ahead and get you some. It smells so cucumbery and so good. But anyways, you guys, that was my BoxyCharm video for the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Catch you guys next week. I'm going to be doing Cinderella's look with the blue palette that I talked about, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.